Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello to you and welcome back to the channel where you join me on the McLaren stand at the 2018 Geneva Motor Show where the covers have just come off the beast behind me, the new McLaren Senna GTR. We're going to take a look at that as well as a very special McLaren Senna for the road. In fact, one that has so many options, you could buy a new 720S. But let's get started and take a look at the new race car. If you thought the normal McLaren Senna was already something absolutely absurd, the GTR removes the requirements for road legislation and takes it onto another dimension. Just look at this thing spinning around in front of us. It is aerodynamics in the most extreme way possible. The wing has been moved towards the rear. It has the most monumental diffuser sticking out at the back. The front, when it comes around to us, just look down at the floor and the sheer scale of that splitter, almost a flat tray extending out of the front of the car, and those features together give the GTR a thousand kilograms of downforce. The road car has 800, which is already, quite frankly, an absolutely over the top number, but this, with a thousand, is just going to stick like glue around very high speed corners on race circuits. So the car is going to be built, well, 75 of them are going to be built. It's going to be offered first to existing Senna customers. We'll take a look and talk more about the center in a moment there's actually one you've probably noticed lurking in the background there are 500 of those the regular road cars but get this the car is 1 million pounds net of taxes so 1.2 million in the United Kingdom for a Senna GTR it is strictly not legal for the road it is racetrack only it will have 825 horsepower from the 4 litre twin turbocharged V8 that is quite frankly going to be the most magnificent track toy I think that money could ever buy. It's finished in a racing livery naturally and it continues from the program that McLaren introduced with the P1 GTR. They made just over 50 of those in the end and some have been converted to road use but I don't necessarily think that's going to be the case with this. I can hear already that people might say what about if you're already a Senna customer isn't it a bit aggressive to introduce this already but I think that's been the plan from the outset it was always intended to become a race car in due course and this is literally the very extreme end of what is possible in that sense. Before we disappear into the depths of the stand to check out a highly MSO example of the Senna, we have the Victory Grey car here, the very one that I filmed my first look with, so it's nice to be reunited with the car, but the contrast of the Victory Grey, but you'd be excused for thinking it's blue paintwork, with the satin carbon fibre, so you can see the gurney flaps adorned on the bonnet here, all of the open air elements of the car that allow airflow through it, the active flaps you have inside here, the fixed flaps you have even just on the outside, that at high speed, at very high speed, will actually have to close up to reduce drag to prevent there being so much downward force on the rear that it could even become a problem with the compression for the suspension. The car has this removable carbon fibre piece around the front of the splitter so were you to snag it on the ground you can replace that without having to fix the entire front end of the car but it is just absolutely crazy in the way this thing's designed. Take a look straight through the side of the car with these glass pods on the doors that will make it feel very very airy and open inside the cabin as you can catch a glimpse just through the door right here or through the lower window which which is a tribute feature to the McLaren F1, just having those half height windows, obviously allowing to have this because they don't have to go too far down into the side. And then you get round towards the rear where the wing is just, I mean, on a road car, this wing is, well, it must be the biggest wing ever, but things like this. The gurney flap here, which lifts air up and out of the way, means air can be extracted out of the engine even quicker to keep it cooler. 800 horsepower, obviously you need to do your best with that. But this, I mean, I am, absolutely obsessed with this car. Look at how open it is from the rear and if we come down to sort of even height with those louvres on the rear deck you can see that it's basically just all open 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 to let all the air out and then you have this pretty distinct exhaust system at the back as well. The Senna is just crazy but let's go check out the MSO version. Well isn't this something very special. The McLaren Senna in full visual carbon fibre with plenty of MSO individualization bespoke parts of the car. This thing has £300,000 of MSO work on top of the £750,000 price tag for the Senna road car. £750,000 including taxes on the car. Just look around it though, the carbon fibre work is in every panel, I mean 
every panel is made out of carbon fibre by default a standard on the car but here with the visual finish perfectly lined up wherever you look as we explore around all parts even for example the roof panels that can be opted as a glass roof panel have carbon fibre coming down to those doors that we saw earlier the door panels here have the fixed carbon fibre so the door handle to open is just inside that gap there it's painted with the yellow accents along with some green touches like the brake calipers which is of course because it is named after Ayrton Senna from Brazil so the colours of Brazil perfectly fitting on this car you have in here those two active flaps painted in yellow as well those can be made in carbon fibre or painted in a contrasting colour along with the door gas struts on the inside that we'll get to so the touches are almost in the, the shadowed areas and when you come around to the side you get this flash of yellow around the front edge inside the wings and over here I like the way that the Senna logo is frosted on the front uh, corner arch there that's an interesting way to do it it's running on the Pirelli tires with the P0 stripes around them here's a carbon fiber wheel option as well you notice that they have uh, two different parts of them carbon fiber and they've also got the anodized center locks so red on the left blue on the right traditional motorsport style and those very bright green calipers to go in with that but the way it just shines glossy in the visual carbon is stunning the end plate finished like that I think McLaren expect maybe 10-15% or so of the cars to be finished like this with a visual carbon option it can be tinted carbon it could be say navy blue or dark green or purple I like having those accented uh, visual elements down there as well the diffuser I mean you could paint the accent some accents on the diffuser blades but that just looks truly insane come in here we'll open up the door now just have a little look at the inside that is very light the door absolutely weighs nothing the full carbon fiber bucket this is literally this whole seat is like three kilos for the seat which is next to nothing and you've got the contrast stitch the yellow contrast stitch around the Alcantara seat pads on the inside as well which is again a very neat touch just slide that back just to take a look around it yellow 12 o'clock stripe marking and there we have the green door gas struts so these are vis visible even when the doors are closed just to show you how much weight saving was done with this car how much lighter they made it just by having those exposed and not hidden behind material you have the, the screen that of course folds away if you want to flip it into the track mode although slightly complicated one that is for having a better vision out the front but realistically when you're driving on the racetrack you want as much information as you can get so you can have your tire temps and the like the center floating screen is raised up high and some people have perhaps commented that it looks a little bit awkward but the reason for that the reason this is high is so that when you're wearing a full face helmet you can still see it without having to look down to get your trip information uh, sorry your um, lap time information and other things while you're actually driving out on the racetrack which all starts to make a little bit more sense it's certainly quite strange looking at these panels I've got used to seeing them in glass on the door I think most customers probably will have the glass because it's a signature feature of this car you have the carbon fiber Bowers and Wilkins sound system which is under eight kilos for the Bowers and Wilkins system that the car has it is Oh, it's really 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 cool even with soft clothes as well pull the door in snorkel just awesome having a snorkel on the back of the car and even around here you've got those flashes again on the opposite side the underside of the rear wing is also painted yellow on the lower section so the two-part rear wing this is all obviously for aero has the lower part painted on the bottom which I think is a nice little touch as well so this car is basically absolutely ridiculous in every possible way but it is incredible to see in carbon fiber on the wall here we have the McLaren Senna customer configurator and we have a couple of predefined options so let's go for victory that's the victory gray car the same specification we've just seen outside we have Myra which is the Myra orange launch car that we saw at the McLaren Technology Center when it was first shown but if I come to paint here exterior paint oh no we need to turn that off you can go back to the normal regular Senna then we go into paint you have so many MSO paint options beyond the standard options this is almost like an endless list of paint colors the uh, special yellow and green for the car obviously the Brazilian connection goodness me this list just keeps going it keeps going and it, hey look cerulean blue imagine a McLaren Senna in cerulean blue that is awesome you can even have the doors open that's really cool you can change the wheels you can have every wheel uh, color under the sun that you could imagine 
Dark Stealth. I had Dark Stealth on my LT, uh, which was a spec like that, obviously, with Cerulean Blue. We've got everything, just absolutely everything. End plates. You can make the end plate a different contrast color to the rest of the car if you want. So we could make that black, or you could have it carbon fiber, or you could go interior. Goodness, you can have the harnesses, six point seat harnesses in blue, obviously. Lap time function with cameras, safety and security. There is everything in here. Absolutely everything. Right, you can configure a McLaren set. Oh, can you open and close the doors? Wow, how cool is that? That's gorgeous. All right, have fun. You know one other thing. If we go close trim level and go into carbon fiber tints, you can have the car in purple carbon fiber. That's, that's awesome. Or blue carbon fiber. Or you can have the entire car in clear satin. The entire car clear satin. That is a proper Batmobile. That is the ultimate in Batmobiles. To rewind back a little bit to where I started with this video, the options on that custom carbon fibre McLaren Senna are more than the price of this MSO 720S and this is a gorgeous machine. It's called MSO Atlantis Blue, it's a dark metallic pearlescent blue sparkling under the lights here in the Motor Show. The 720S, as we know, is an astonishing piece of equipment itself. The Senna uses a development of the engine in this car, a development of the tub in this car, but this is, well, with 720 horsepower, already spectacularly fast and an awful lot of fun to drive, as I know from my own experience. But would you have one of these or a carbon fiber bodied Senna? That is the question. Anyway, it's been an awesome visit here to the stand. The cars are breathtaking. This is just something from out of space. The McLaren Senna GTR, the concept, initial introduction of it. It's a model of the car rather than the real one, but no doubt we will see it in not too long from now, following the deliveries of the Senna road cars during 2019. But I'm gonna wrap this one up there, so thank you very much for watching. Thank you for joining me here at the McLaren stand. That's it though, I will see you again very soon. Cheers.